Hello, my friends. Namaste, and welcome to Orgon Corner. I am the Organite Catechist. All of our how-to videos document the journey of an idea, a thought, or an intention into a beautiful manifestation that reminds us how powerful we truly are. Once you begin to work with the elemental and alchemical energies involved in Organite, your life will change in the most amazing ways. Synchronicities and serendipities will follow you everywhere. Today's journey is about the ever-present and ever-changing silvery queen of the night, the moon. The moon is the most famous and obvious luminary in our night sky. The sheer volume of spiritual, metaphysical, and astronomical data available for study is daunting. Metaphor and symbolism of the moon are just as prolific in art and literature from the ancient to the current times. Some exobiologists hypothesize that if it were not for the moon, life on Earth would not exist as we know it. Metaphysically, we are concerned with the cycles of the moon, the position of the moon in relationship to the zodiac signs and the eclipses. Regardless of who you are, where you come from, or what your knowledge base is, the moon is important. The sound frequency I'm using in the background is 210.42 Hertz. This frequency was derived from the cosmic octave concept, developed by a Swiss mathematician named Hans Cousteau. Essentially using simple math and observations of the movements of planets, Cousteau developed a way to express the energies of cosmic bodies in terms of wavelengths and frequencies. We honor the shadowy, silvery, feminine archetype of the moon with the following organic and inorganic materials. Pyrite, Lapidolite, Amethyst, Clear Quartz Stones, Rose Quartz, a clear quartz crystal, iron filings, silver foil, silver colored aluminum wire, moon symbol charms, and the moon. I recommend smudging your space and materials with sage and palo santo. I will start this organite by applying a thin layer of light yellow resin to each of the side walls of the pyramid and support the mold in a tilted position. After six to eight hours, the resin is cured enough to rotate the mold to the next side and repeat the process. This creates a rigid and strong support for the large planetary energies. Next, I will wrap the clear quartz crystal with silver-colored aluminum wire. The spiraling wire represents how matter and energy move through space and time. This crystal has been cleared and charged with sunlight and moonlight, and then programmed with a 210.42 hertz frequency. Once all four sidewalls are cured, I will begin the apex of the pyramid by splashing a bit of silver glitter. Next, I will pour light blue resin and suspend the crystal. Now, as the resin cures, it will compress the suspended crystal and wire, creating a toroidal or donut-shaped field of electromagnetic energy around the organite. Once the crystal is secure in the hardened resin, I will remove the suspension apparatus and trim the wire. Next, I will place a layer of silver plated foil on the hardened apical layer. Silver is the alchemical metal for moon energy magic. Just as the moon reflects her image using the sun's light, so does silver. 
Silver combines its calming, reflective quality with the energy of other crystals and even people. I will pour clear resin over the silver foil and then add silver-colored steel balls. These small orbs are very reflective in all directions and next to each other they create spherical infinity mirrors. And before this layer has a chance to completely cure, I will place a length of silver plated chain around the edges. The links reminding us of our connection to the elements, the moon, and infinity. Now that the apical section is complete, I will place the moon replica and pour two layers of clear resin. Did you know that the moon is the perfect size and in the perfect orbital position so that from the Earth's perspective, the moon and the sun appear to be the same size? This is why when the moon is perfectly aligned between the Earth and the sun, we see a total eclipse of the sun on Earth. Scientists believe that the Earth and the moon were one planet many millions of years ago until a large projectile impacted the Earth progenitor this would explain why we only see one side of the moon from the Earth. Look up the Babylonian creation myth and learn more about Nibiru. It's fascinating. Now that the moon is submerged, I'll begin the floor and base sections on the organite. In this next layer, I'll pour clear resin first. Then, place small pyrite balls arranged to resemble the waxing and waning quarter moons, and then pyrite chunks arranged in the formation of 3-2-1 pyramids. Pyrite, or fool's gold, is a reflective metal when polished. Just like silver, pyrite can be an introspective and healing metal, but just like gold, pyrite can be used to increase abundance. I have added these to the base layer here for grounding and also because it reminds me of moon rock. In the next portion of the base layer, I will pour clear resin and then add iron filings. Iron has a masculine alchemical energy to it, so it balances the divine feminine of the moon with the sacred masculine of this earthy metal. There are large deposits of iron on the moon as well. Synchronicities abound. After the iron has settled, I will add four lapidolite stones in the four corners of the pyramid. Lapidolite is an excellent stone for new moon rituals and meditations. The new moon is an excellent time for turning inward and spending time on self-reflection meditation, and prayer. Lapidolite will help you let go of trauma from previous cycles of learning and just be happy and calm. The new moon is a great time for setting intentions and the Lapidolite will help you be in the right headspace for this magical time. After this layer has hardened, I will pour clear resin and place four moon symbol charms, amethyst stones, and Rainbow Moonstone. The circle, the pentacle, and the two mirrored crescent moons make up the triple goddess moon symbol, representing the divine feminine in her younger, prime, and older timelines. Amethyst helps foster spiritual intelligence. With amethyst around, you will be more observant of the phases of the moon and its connection to your emotional body. Rainbow Moonstone is called the bringer of light and is useful for full moon rituals of action and manifestation. And despite its magnificent powers, it's a beautiful sight to behold as well. After 12 to 24 hours of additional curing, we can finally demold the moon organite. 
this is such a beautiful piece. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for the moon over my shoulder when I'm outside. Now I have a bit of its energy in my hand, constantly changing, yet always there, pulling and pushing us through the lunar energy cycles, visiting our dreams and imagination. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you sweet dreams and namaste. Please join me for the full moon and new moon meditations to follow.